I was married in my early 20s, had two boys. I was the only one working in a one-sided marriage, raising two kids basically by myself. And this caused me to overeat, to fill voids that I had from a love that I was supposed to have, at least I thought when I got married. At this point in my life, I just continued to eat and eat to fill those voids until I reached a size 16 and was diagnosed as medically obese. By the time I hit age 30, I did file for a divorce and realized that I had to turn some things around. I knew that I had to become healthy to be a good mom to my two boys and have enough energy to keep up with them. So what I did is I followed what every other woman would do, calories in, calories out. I'll just be healthy, exercise, and eat right. The journey from too much exercise, too much cardio, wasn't getting me to where I wanted to be. So I started to experiment with Weight Watchers, diet pills, everything out there to try to get down to that ideal weight, but it just wasn't working. At the age of 38, I met my first fitness coach who had extensive knowledge in fitness and nutrition, and he helped me realize that I was doing it all wrong. His advice was the opposite of everything I had ever heard in my entire life. That's when I knew I had to make a change. What I was doing wasn't working, so I took the next step. In January of 2013, I started the low-carb plan that he put me on and went from a size 8 down to a size 4 in just a matter of months. And that's when I knew this was right. I wasn't hungry, I wasn't deprived, I had so much energy. And I think that's why I failed on other plans, because I was always hungry and tired, and it was never enough. Looking back on the age of 15 all the way up until this year, I'll be 40 years old, is that anorexia, overeating, eating disorders, it's all a result of brokenness. And the only way to overcome that brokenness is through finding your peace in God. Overeating, undereating, taking pills, looking for the next fix, all the control that you have to have over all the areas of your life because everything's so out of control and you just feel so much pain you don't know what else to do. The bottom line is that weight loss issues, rejection issues, control issues, they're just symptoms of a deeper problem and when you can learn to surrender all of that to God is when He can heal and restore you to who He created you to be and that is a healthy, vibrant, and connected human being. When I was 23 years old, I met a girl in college who was just filled with so much joy and so much love, and I wanted to know what she had, and I wanted to know what made her so happy, and I wanted it for myself. So, I spent time with her, hung out with her, ridiculed her a little bit like girls do when we're young and in college, and what I came to realize was, that she had a peace that I had never experienced before. I visited her church, first service, broke down in tears, didn't quite understand what it was, but it was the joy of the Lord filling my heart. He's healed me from so many things. He's healed me from cancer. He healed me from a broken heart. He restored me and made me the woman that I always wanted to be but didn't think I could be. He helped me raise, I'm gonna cry, Done. I raised two boys. I'm size zero. Now what? I mean, now I'm here, and I'm trying to get a ring on it. Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be 40 years old this year. I have two boys who are now grown. The oldest will be 17, and the youngest is 14. I no longer have control issues. I no longer worry about my exterior managing my weight. Now that I'm no longer obsessed with it, I enjoy it. I can say that I look younger now in my 40s than I did in my 20s. It's all easy now because I've surrendered it all to God. And I know that He's created me to be the woman that I am, and it's taken all of these struggles to get to this point. I believe that everybody is born with certain gifts, and sometimes we have to go through trials and tribulations until we overcome those things, which will then ignite a passion within us to go out and help those that were once in the shoes that we filled. I started Vino Fitness because when I was going through my struggles, 
if I would have had somebody come alongside me and tell me what was really going on and what was really broken, I don't think I would have had to have gone through all that I went through. If my testimony can help that one person, I'm going to cry again. Then it would all be worth it. So here I am, Vino Fitness, with this passion, born from struggle, ready to help anybody that's willing to make that change.